the challenge has to do basically with the physicality of it. You know, I mean, it's a character that basically what I use is a lot of body language. Um, he's not a very discursive character. He doesn't speak so much. He's just m mainly uh, body language and, and trying to adapt. But but I was helped uh, big time by uh, my own outfit and my own appearance. You know, it was. Uh, very uncomfortable, I may say, just to wear that beer from six o'clock in the morning until eight o'clock at night, you know, with all these glues uh, attached in a long week, and it was very hot. We were in Savannah, Georgia, which is a beautiful place, but it's very hot and humid, and that didn't actually help me <laughs> physically. It was, oh, it was very demanding, you know, I, I lost a couple of kilograms every day, you know, uh, doing this character. I think, like always, you know, this kind of uh, innate uh, need of people to visit uh, universes that are completely different to the one that they live. To just go to another space, time. And, um, and for kids, I think that that is very important that they have the possibility to get in the bottom of the ocean and visit all these characters that are not supposed to be related and they are not supposed to be even alive characters. I mean, he's a sponge. <laughs> Let's just face it. <laughs> but it talks, so it's kind of fun because it's telling kids a message that is think is in a way important. It's telling kids that everything is possible. I think I, I sh I'm going to break a spear, as we say in Spain, for Spongebob, because it's very positive and uh, there is no obstacles for him. He always overcomes any type of situation and that is a good message to kids. It's a good message. This type of movies are an entertainment, but at the same time they are educational. And so just to put that in the mind of kids that they should overcome any type of situation is something that may stay there.